Okay, it's a beautiful morning, and um, I was just about to move around some of my containers, my terracotta pot containers, and I thought I would give a last and final update on how these things have been doing for me. I'm going to put this video in a playlist of terracotta pots to kind of show the progression of my pots over the past few years. I think I'm going to have a total of about four videos. Okay, so for those of you who have not seen my other videos, I started buying terracotta pots probably four or five years ago when I lived in Florida, and they're very porous, and I read they were wonderful for plants, that they would help the roots get air, and all these wonderful things, so I bought terracotta pots. Well, in the hot Florida sun, I had just a terrible time keeping my pots moist enough to for my plants to grow. They just dried out on me all the time. So um, I moved up to Zone 6B in North Carolina, and... Um, along with the cooler climate, I also had colder winters, <laughs> so my pots froze on me then. I know you're supposed to, well, at least I think you're supposed to empty out your pots in the winter so that they don't expand and freeze and crack, and um, that's not really what I wanted to do because I have perennial herbs in my pots, and I kind of wanted them to stay in there all winter. So I had a problem with them after they cracked last winter, and I thought, well, I'll just seal them, and then I had a problem with trying to figure out what to seal them with because I'm going to be growing edible plants in them and I want, didn't want something toxic. So I found a product called Water Glass and I sealed them with that and that's in a previous video as well. Um, how I sealed them and everything. And this, this is my final update to see how they did this past winter. Okay, so I sealed them about a year ago and it's April now and this is how they fared. Um, I can say that none of the ones that I sealed cracked on me over the winter. However, um, a few of the ones that I did not seal also did not crack. <laughs> so I don't know what to think about that, but for instance, here's one I did not seal that did crack. Okay, it kind of chips away. It's funny how these crack. Either the bottom will totally fall out of them or the top will just start falling off, like in layers. Maybe there are faulty pots or something. I don't know. Um, and then there's one back here. Same thing. You see how it just falls away from the pot like in little layers. Okay. Um, now, I know I can tell the, the ones that I sealed because they have a chalky appearance on the outside. Like here. You see it looks kind of chalky. And then over here. Okay. Now, I had a couple of saucers that chipped on me, that broke. And I, I thought that I sealed all of my saucers. I'm sure I could just go back through my videos and see. But um, they don't look sealed. They don't have the white coating on them. So maybe I didn't, but those are cracked just awful. So I'm about to move these around and I wanted to show the video footage of them before I disposed of all of the um, crumbles. I've heard too that you can take a terracotta pot that's cracked and crack it all up and use this at the bottom of other pots to help soil drain, to help the drainage in your soil. If you put them at the bottom of a pot before you fill it up with soil. So that's probably where these cracked pots are going to go today. Here's a couple more that were sealed. They look great. You can see those in this one. All right. And um, one more thing, too, <laughs> I forgot to add. Um, they did fine sealed, even though um, someone had mentioned that they were porous and it's not good to seal them up because the whole point in having a terracotta pot is that it's porous. Well, that didn't work out too good for me. <laughs> so, based on just my experience, I said, well, I'm going to seal them because I've given them enough time to perform well. And they even dried out in the summer here on me. So, I think there are certain plants that do really well in terracotta, like succulents and that kind of thing. So, it might just be my gardening era. Maybe I should not have planted the kind of plants that I put in here. So, FYI on that one. Alrighty, thanks so much for watching.